What's up with you, family? It's your boy Q Heen to Redeem. Kendra behind the camera, and this is Breathe Life Radio, and we live. Uh, you know what I mean? Live on set, right after the concert, breaking down the walls hmm. with my folks. Die Truth. How you doing, family? I'm good, bro. What's going on? What's going man. Chillin'. Blew it up tonight, man. Was real anointed, real blessed yeah. tonight. Yeah. How was it, man? It was great, man. It was great. Just, um, you know, I'm more, I'm more about quality uh -huh. than anything else. I just think that the it was rich quality, you know, rich ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love when you sense the presence of God. We know that God is omnipresent. But then um, just when his m manifested or energized presence, you know, is evident. Yeah, you, know, you, can, you can feel it in the building tonight. In the building. Yeah. And uh, that was just a great thing. Crazy lineup tonight, you know, show Baraka, who was, who was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Trip Lee, um, KB, you know. KB! Yeah, and everybody was just a game, and it was just, just a great, great night, man. Great night. Amen. I'm so, tired, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, we we all we're all spent and tired, and um, like you know, just being in the presence of the Lord, just us, for a couple of days now, and then this just to cap cap off a mm -hmm. lovely weekend. Yeah. But but here going forward, uh, what do you think the Lord is saying uh, to His people, man? Right now, you know what I mean. What is the message? You getting the Lord saying to His people right now for today? Yeah. You got stuff like uh, what I mean by that. You got like uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor, uh, or folks from from uh, Florida that just passed away. Mm -hmm. Tim. Yeah, Tim. Uh, nice. Pastor Tim's. Yeah, Tim's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what's yeah. the question? <laughs> what do you think God is saying to His people today? Oh right. Like this? So, why did you mention Pastor Tim's? But just, you know what I mean? Just tragedy, you know what I mean? Oh, tragedy I within the body. Do you think God is... Oh, I see. You know? Um, well, uh, one of the things I think God is saying um, is I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the other day, not yesterday. The day before yesterday. Um, a friend of mine who uh, shot the video with me. A mm -hmm. video with me. And we just really started talking about, you know, what we believe that the Lord has been saying in our... At least in our world, mm -hmm. um, in our immediate sphere of uh, influence, and that is in our in our sphere, um, and, and and in our context, that we think that God is really speaking to this issue of legalism, um, and really, you know, addressing, you know, the Pharisaical, you know, self-righteous ways of, um, of of Christians, and really forcing people to reevaluate, you know, their ideas of holiness and there um you know uh, really evaluate themselves you know because the root of self-righteousness is pride you know you have to think highly of yourself in order to be self-righteous and i tell you know people all the time you know that you know i, I feel like i really fell into that category even before uh -huh. um, everything went down I uh -huh. feel like that in some ways i uh, not in every way but in some ways you know i i, I established up the bar you know, for repentance, and I established a bar for righteousness in some ways, and uh -huh. um, that is always the breeding ground for, you know, a fall, you know, so uh, we really believe that, and, but the thing is, I'm not just saying that because that's what I went through, I came out of a community that was like that, and then as I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, um, he's he was saying that his, his, his circle of friends, you know, amongst a circle of friends and, you know, on college campuses, you know, you know, in his community, this seems to be the, the big struggle, you know, and everybody's right. being forced to reevaluate. So I was going to say that because I uh, that was went into my next question. And the last question is I failed before and, uh, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and had to come back to the Lord for repentance. I'm pretty sure some of our listeners or followers are maybe in that same position. Yeah. How do you, how what was the process for you of coming back? And what would you tell our people that have fallen and 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 getting back into repentance and getting back into the Lord? What is that process like for you? And what would you say to the people that's in that position? Um, the process for me was well, if we're talking about people that are in ministry, mm -hmm. first the process for me was stepping down from the ministry. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was super critical. Um, I think a lot of times leaders fall and don't give the people a chance to breathe after, um, you know, even though you may sense that you're still called to the ministry, uh -huh. you know, um, the people need a break, <laughs> you right. know, people need time, you know, to heal, uh -huh. the, the, the time to work and process, you know, everything, you know, and the people I think just need time to see you in a, you know, you know, in a 
um, broken state, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or just in a state where you're receiving what you need from God in your process of healing, and especially if you if it's a situation where your family is involved, where your family is being right. healed. So if it's a ministry situation, I think that part of the process is you know stepping down from the ministry at least for a season. Mm -hmm. um, but if, uh, if we're just talking about you know just um, I don't want to say any other Christian because every Christian is in ministry, but you know what I mean. Right. We're talking about somebody who's if a lay leader, somebody that's not you know high profile in the ministry, mm -hmm. um, but as a believer, and if you've fallen, one of the things that I would say is that um, you know to to you know I think that it was it was important for me to eat, eat, to um, take a step back and try to evaluate what led to my fall. You mm -hmm. feel me? What were some of the key things that led to my fall and really address those root issues? Mm -hmm. And that's the journey that I've been on actually for the past two years, just addressing the root causes for my fall. Mm -hmm. You know, not looking at the fall itself, mm -hmm. but um, just trying to, you know, examine myself. Kind of like seeing what the little foxes were. Exactly. What were the little yeah. foxes that yeah. led to it? Yeah. 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 And so I think that that's, uh, I think that's critical. Um, and um, I, will, I will say this. Um, you know, it's important, I think, just to really embrace the gospel whenever you, if you've fallen into, you know, grave sin, you know, mm -hmm. because that's what the gospel is for. The gospel is for the sinner. Mm -hmm. Jesus came not for the well, but for the sick. Amen. And uh, I, I don't want to leave it there. What is victory like for you now? Like, uh, you know, since mm -hmm. restoration, what is that like? And victory is victory is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. You see on stage today. Victory is pretty awesome, man. V victory, man, is like <laughs> surreal for me. Right. Because it's like I got a song on my record called Can't Believe. Mm -hmm. But it's literally like you can't believe it. Like you can't believe, you know, the Bible says he does exceedingly and abundantly beyond all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. Mm -hmm. And it's... um. You know, you look at all the passages where the Bible says that your ladder will be greater than your former. You know, that God restoring everything that the king of worms is eating. And, you know, like mm -hmm. when you look at all of this stuff, um, you know, you know, when you see that stuff played out and fleshed out in your own life, like in real time. It's one thing when you're right. looking at Israel and, you know, the their Bible. ladder, right, their ladder right. being greater than their former, you know, but like, and, when it's like, me? Mm -hmm. it literally is like David when he's like, why me? Like right. really, like I don't deserve. Like I really feel like I don't deserve it, and that's the right. thing. Like God is like, right. but not you never deserved it. <laughs> right from the you never from you didn't deserve it from the beginning. Right, right. <laughs> and so um um right. that I'm saying that to say that the experience of receiving God's God's grace at this level has been uh literally mind blowing. You know, being back back on stage, not just back on stage, just. You know, traveling the world, uh -huh. you know, you know, at an even greater level. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> Going, uh -huh. to, you know, getting ready to hit the road to go on tour. Uh -huh. um, having my family uh -huh. restored. You know, I love my family. I love the road, uh -huh. and I love my family. But when I'm on the road, I'm thinking about getting home to my family. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta get home to mine too. Uh, yeah, my, my man. Like I'll be me. missing my family. You yeah. know. Um, so just you know, just the relationship with my family, having a a, a, um, a local church that is so solid and just a place where I'm super comfortable because I'm at a new church now, mm -hmm. but just a place that's new and just I'm really comfortable and I'm really being fed and I feel like I'm growing and mm -hmm. you know and just the, the whole journey is just it's just amazing man. So victory is really amazing. I feel like an overcomer. I feel like a conqueror. I feel blessed. I, 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 my big thing just recently has been I'm happy. Right. Well, like, it's plain and uh, simple. That's what bless the word. The word blessed means fortunate or happy. Yeah. And I said, I really am just happy. <laughs> like I'm happy because I'm in Christ, and I'm happy because of what all that He's doing. But if He didn't do anything else, I'm just happy being in Him. Amen. <laughs> so, Amen. It's cool, man. So, so you have a new album coming out. New album. Uh, new tours. You want to speak yeah. a little bit about that, and what uh, can they look forward to? Yeah, it? September 13th. Mm -hmm. Um, the whole truth. You know, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's epic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I can say, the man. Truth. It's epic. It's epic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a, it's a ride. It's, it's a, it's a journey. You mm -hmm. know, top to bottom. And mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about how people will, um, will respond to it from a musical perspective and just ministerially. Um, 
So, Whole Truth, September 13th. Uh, that's in stores and on iTunes and all that good stuff. You can pre-order it now, though, if you want. Yeah, y'all get your yeah. Breathe Life Radio uh, people. Y'all know the pre-order, yeah. man. Get your pre-orders in, man. Yeah. It was send that thing up to number one. Yeah. And uh, you know what I mean? We got our folks, man. That Truth, we love him. And uh, this is uh, BriefLifeRadio.com. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Yes, sir.